NXT that was really surprising that kind of you know also surprising but reaffirmed why I live where I live is that I absolutely detest hipsters like I think I purposely went out of my way to not be around them and I'm so glad that's the case because when I was you know looking for places to go and stay or when I was kind of walking around trying to find my bearings and trying to kind of you know figure out where i was gonna go i kind of walked around the hackney area and i'd say like the clapton area the homerton area which i would kind of describe as the trendier part of east london the place where you kind of go you know if you were going to start a family the place where maybe you want to go where it's kind of closer to all your friends the place where you want to go maybe it's kind of closer to your workplace and your studio and bloody blah 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 and i saw more solomons and or salomons whatever however you fucking pronounce them than I've ever seen in my entire life. And I also saw shock horror. I saw one of the most craziest things I've ever seen. I went to one of those kind of like mini supermarkets, like a Sainsbury's. Uh, no, I went to like a mini supermarket with the, with the, we have in London, like a Tesco Express, but it's a Sainsbury's version. I forgot what they're called. And I was in there getting my coffee, which is absolutely horrendous from the Costa machine and a couple of croissants for breakfast. And as I was walking around, um, you know, I bumped into some lady who was a young mum, maybe looked in her early 30s, if not late 20s, with a fucking stroller and a baby. And she was wearing, guess what? She was wearing the Palace at McDonald's fucking collection. Can you imagine a young mum just giving birth to a fucking beautiful baby out there in fucking, you know, wherever that part of fucking Hackney that I was in, enjoying life, living free, doing the thing that she needs to do. And she's out here legitimately, without irony, wearing Palace and McDonald's merch. I couldn't believe it. I've seen this stuff online and as you can see on the hip on hype beast it says a, it's a capsule collection that they made and i honestly couldn't understand why anybody would purchase this shit it's basically a palace merch with uh fucking mcdonald's m on it you know if you're not watching it you'd basically kind of know what it kind of looks like and to me it's fucking horrid and if anything sort of represents just how far um palace has fallen over the years which has been kind of great to see to be fair do you know what I mean because the people behind it you know unfortunately from my own personal experience have been wankers so it's kind of good to see them kind of go through this fucking shit but it's also funny to see that you know back in the day when i was on some skate forums the way these guys used to kind of gather around and kind of collectively try and protect Palace and the people that were, you know, founded them and a part of their team because they were all legit and they were all, you know, they all kind of came from the right stock and they were all a part of the same right scene. And essentially Palace has sold out quicker than any other brand I've ever seen in my entire life. As soon as the money started to come in, the offers for collaborations and placements and whatever it may be, they sold out so quick. They did not bat an eyelid to kind of, you know, secure the bag as quickly as possible there was no real care of kind of protecting skateboarding you know maintaining the integrity of skateboarding or being core or whatever else these fucking numb nuts talk about they went fully deep and decided to fucking sell out and when i was in fucking sainsbury's buying my croissant and my shitty machine made coffee and i bumped into that young mum wearing this palace mcdonald's merch without irony pushing her little baby around that store i legitimately questioned my life choices i was like oh my god imagine being that person and thinking that is somehow appropriate you're seeing imagine being a baby seeing your mum put on a fucking mcdonald's and palace t-shirt and thinking about hey what can i do to get out of here can I put myself up for adoption? Can I actually run away? Like, what is actually going on here? And I'm thinking to myself, like, this sort of stuff, usually, when you see people wearing it out and about, my usual kind of gut feeling is that they're usually people who maybe are associated with the brand. Maybe they are um influencers in their own way maybe they got it seeded because they're friends and family maybe they got it discounted because they're friends and family maybe they are friends and family and partners of them but then there's also the crushing realization that she might have actually purchased this and i think that she was wearing a white one if i'm not I actually you know what i think she might be wearing a long sleeve I'm not too sure if they exist because I don't see them in the collection here. We only have t-shirts. But I think she had a long sleeve on. Either she had a long sleeve or she went even further and bought the white t-shirt and then put a long sleeve underneath it. But either way, I saw a young mum, you know, with a baby stroller in Sainsbury's wearing Palace and McDonald's merch. And I legitimately wanted to run into the nearest wall. And you can only see that when you walk around the hipster part of fucking London. 
certain parts of London you go around you all you'll see is panda dunks then suddenly you go to another part all you see is Padma Barn shoes Clark's Wallabies Solomon's Dr. Martin's um you know um tassel loafers Reeboks with white socks like it's just pretty crazy to see the amount of hipstery people walking around and then you also have the people who legitimately wear clothes and think it kind of gives them an attitude it kind of makes them feel cooler one particular person that i kind of bumped into was at sainsbury's that same one i'm talking about the next day when i went to go buy some water because unfortunately the airbnb that i was in was you know it kind of felt like a trap so i didn't really trust the tap water so if we know what well, let me actually go buy a couple of bottles of bottled water i went in there bought some bottled water for myself and a couple of cans of cronenberg because why the fuck not went to the self checkout machine and obviously when you scan your beer you get the little warning sign that says hey you need to have someone come over to check your id and shit and then you know the person saw the sign or the signal above our till my till and the guy next to me and she buzzed for help and it's a mini Sainsbury's, so usually at most there might be like three employees there, maybe five. But when it gets busy, it's like a flash busy. So it gets busy for like 20 minutes and it kind of dies down. So I'm assuming the people that work there kind of, you know, just kind of know how to move around the space. Don't really panic when it gets too busy because I know after 20 minutes it's going to die down. Either way, sometimes shit happens. One person goes on lunch, one person's out doing the, having a the piss. They're not around. So the woman was buzzing a couple of times. No one was coming. And usually when I'm in those stores, I just let the time be what it is. I don't rush. I don't get crazy because we're in a small store. There's a lot of people in here all trying to get their own things. There's not a lot of staff. You just can't be guaranteed to get top level service. I just kind of surrender myself to the occasion. The guy next to me wasn't feeling that way. He wanted to make sure somebody came to him and helped him out because he had places to go. And then I looked at him. He was wearing a fucking Stussy t-shirt. He had loads of stupid clip art tattoos everywhere. Um, you know, whatever, some sort of trendy trainer and shit. And he just was looking a bit angsty and kind of having a bit of an attitude. And he started talking to a woman. Ah, oh, why is anyone coming to a tier? When are they going to come? This is crazy. Uh, I've been waiting for ages. Have you really actually ring the bell? Have you actually ring the bell? The woman's like, yeah, I've rang the bell. Anyway, eventually the guy does come. And as they do, when they do come along, obviously he's kind of waddling along very slow. And he's in no rush. Doesn't really give a fuck. And then I kind of just diffuse the situation. I kind of smile at him. He smiles back. And then he kind of wants to come straight across to me. But then I'm like, nah, don't worry. Don't worry about me, brother. Go to that guy there. He's in the rush, right? Go to him. I didn't say he's in a rush, but I said, go to him first. And usually polite people would, when someone does that, would be like, oh, thank you. All right? You don't need that acknowledgement. But usually a polite person, well-mannered person, a person that's been brought up well, a person that's not up their own ass, a person who doesn't think because they take fucking 35 millimeter pictures of their friends on the weekend at their Jürgen Teller would be a bit chill and be like, hey, thank you, guy. But this guy didn't. He just acted like I wasn't there, acted like he didn't hear me, and just continued scanning his shit. The guy helped him out, then came over to me, you know, gave me my pass for my little Cronenbergs, my little room temperature Cronenbergs, and then sent me on my way. And the guy made no eye contact, kept his head down at the till, and just looking all stern and upset and angry and hipstery. And I was looking at him thinking, like, what an absolute mug. What an absolute muppet. And what a reminder of why I don't live in a hipster part of East London. And as much as it's been probably a detriment to my social life that i'm not in and amongst things i'm not in and amongst the people that i've kind of known over the years in amongst the burgeoning scene just you know in the thick of the action it's also kind of nice to sort of like step away from that sort of place and come back to an area that's completely disconnected to that sort of stuff where you can kind of meet actual real people actual normal quote-unquote regular civilians who don't care about the shoes you wear who don't care about where you work who don't care if you can name you know if you can name all the collections of fucking junior watanabe from fucking 1999 to 2004 they don't give a fuck about that shit they just care about whether or not you're a decent person will you get the rounds in do you have good banter what team do you support and all of that malarkey that's all they fucking care about and i fucking love it i absolutely do